ancient Pompeii. We all know the story, destroyed by the eruption of Vesuvius. It is the most famous archaeological site in the world. But you have to go there and see it for yourself. You have to dive into that history because it was teeming with life that was cut short. And right now is a great time to experience that history because more than ever, sites are being opened up. There are more houses to visit. Discoveries are being made during the big conservation project, which you can see all around you. So you really get this amazing experience, engaging experience of Pompeii like you never have before. I'm in the Forum of Pompeii, a magnificent space. There is the Temple of Jupiter, the Temple of Apollo, the Eumachia building right here, and a couple of other uh, imperial shrines, and finally the Machellum. One of the great structures in Pompeii is the second century BC Basilica, and its dimensions and its materials let us step back into the time of Republican Rome as well. Because what you have in the form in Rome today, they were imperial basilicas. But originally in the second century BC, they look like this. And we get a window into that time in Rome that's now lost. It's preserved in Pompeii. What a magnificent structure, the tribunal hall of the Forum of Pompeii. What's as exciting as making an archaeological discovery is to see firsthand the conservation work that's being done on things that are recently seen. This is the case here in Pompeii in Region 5, and we have this amazing thermopolium, pristine. Looks like it was just made yesterday, and the conservation work is ongoing. It's a wonder to see. Let's take a look. This is absolutely incredible. It really feels like you've just walked into something that was just made. And you have these beautiful images. You have a dog with a dog collar tied to the leash. Here we have a live rooster. We have a couple of dead birds that would be in reality also on the counter for sale. And then maybe my favorite in the distance there, we actually see counters with glass bowls. We have lots of amphorae stacked up and we have a little attendant with a scale. This is just breathtaking, this thermopolium. Here in Region 5, you have many fantastic discoveries, and this house in particular, which is decorated with first-style wall paintings, very rarely preserved, you have two rooms that have been uh, modernized, have been renovated, and each one has preserved beautiful emblemata that centralize uh, figural mosaic and they are richly detailed. You have a chimera in one room, a chimera that you've never seen. There are so many other animal heads in it that you wouldn't expect. And over here, we have this mythological figure, Orion. And you have this kind of apotheosis scene, and you have behind him this rather large lobster. You've got these incredible winged uh, creatures here that are crowning him. And ultimately at the bottom, we have this Egyptianizing figure. We have this cobra. So there's all kinds of storytelling going on in the mosaics in Pompeii, and this is a new discovery in Region 5. Walking down into Villa of the Mysteries. It's one of the great extra-urban villas, originally right on the sea. Of course, that reality has changed forever by the eruption of Vesuvius. Let's take a look at the magnificent mystery that surrounds this villa still today. This is the star attraction in the Villa of the Mysteries. Of course, you've got this extensive villa and it's so well preserved and recently restored. And you have here the original uh, pavement 
you have the original wall paintings and have figures of this scale is really unusual. And you get scenes of what looks to be a wedding. We have in the presence of mythological figures, the satyr, we have the uh, couple, Ariadne and Dionysus right here. And we have a scene, it looks like, of initiation. People argue still today about what it's all about. It remains a mystery and it's something that you can discover when you come to the Villa of the Mysteries today. space within the private baths in the Villa of Diomedes. It's an enormous extra urban villa that is currently under the process of a grand conservation project. This is not the biggest house in Pompeii. It is beautiful recently restored. It's the Casa de Che. And here we have glorious natural light that gives us, that reveals this wonderful scene of hunting with these wild creatures, with the hunting that's going on here. It's like one of the game parks of the Peridoisoi, of the emperors and the, and the kingdoms in the east, brought over to the west by Alexander the Great and then perpetuated in the imperial period in Rome, it was an amazing thing to behold within this rather modest house. And one of the things I'm really excited about is the opening of the antiquarium. The antiquarium helps you process what you're seeing and shows you some amazing artifacts that have been discovered in the past, hundreds of years ago, but also within a couple of years. So it's a really exciting opportunity to get close to the experience of living in Pompeii and we can take a deep dive in Pompeii to pull out not just the Roman life, but that multicultural existence of living in the Bay of Naples. Mm -hmm. 